Despite denier, Nigerian army retired compulsorily 29 generals after Yahaya's appointment as COAS. My people, it's happening. Nigerian government has been exposed. Now, what is leading to the dismissal or compulsory retirement of these generals? Some time ago, a news broke out that um, the army were to take over from Muhammad Buhari because of the stingy rise of insecurity in the country. And it was clear that Muhammad Buhari was failing and was not able to cope. For starters, the man is already aged. The once re the re uh, military general that we that, that they were thinking would be able to hold on to things and, you know, give direction. For crying out loud is an old man, sick because he has dementia, has his own impairments and all that. Yet, people are using him to rule. All they are using now is the name. So, what happened? We, the, the former chief of staff, Ibrahim, when he came on board, the man was a bit, you know, not with the carcass. He, I, I'm not saying he was not with them. However, he was beginning to poke and, you know, investigate maybe opening some cans of worms and people were like ah, 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 we made a mistake with this appointment maybe it should have been somebody else and so they you know like we heard he was he was taken out you know in a disguise of saying there was a plane crash anyway that happened now they picked yahaya who is a junior officer to remove any possible uh, military general who could possibly plan a coup and take out muhammad buhari 29 of them has been aimed and guess what my people you may not hear they will start going to their houses and eliminating them small small and little by little please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you 29 army generals have been forced to retire from service following the appointment of Farouk Yahaya as the chief of army staff the forceful retirement of the generals contradict the claim by the defense headquarters last week that none of his personnel has been retired lies this this administration is characterized by lies so if you think you are working with honest people my dear it is clear and glary to the whole world that there is no honesty in these people their bones they are very vindictive and very you know they have this insecurity all around them. This insecurity complex is driving them to do a lot of wrong things. The forced retirement, the force forcefully retire retirement of the generals contradicts the claim by the defense headquarters last week that none of his personnel has been retired following the appointment of Yahaya, who belongs to regular courses 37. Mr. Yahaya, a major general from Sokoto State was named the army chief of staff by president muhammad buhari on may the 27th he succeeded ibrahim a lieutenant general who died on may 21st in a plane crash alongside 10 other military personnel while on official assignments to zaria and kaduna state where the plane hit the ground shortly after the appointment of the new chief of army staff there were speculations that about 30 to 45 generals who are his seniors may be asked to go home. The senior generals belong to the regular course 35 and 36. Remember, he's 37, okay? It is tradition in the army that when a junior is appointed as a chief, as a service chief, senior officers who are ahead of him or her would proceed to retirement. The understanding is that senior military officers are unlikely to take order from their junior. The defense headquarters, however, dismissed the speculation of massive retirement, saying that the retirement of senior officers from the military was very voluntary. However, they have done this. 29 have been sent home. It said that the military high command ha had yet to authorize the retirement of any officers. That was the lie. The acting director, defense media operation, Bernadette Oyeko, a brigadier general who briefed journalists on the matter last week, said retirement of senior officers from the military was always voluntary. At this point, you are all aware of the appointment of the new chief of army staff, Major General Farouk Yahaya, he said. He, this was striped up in a lot of rumor in the media about the massive retirement in the military. I wish to use this medium to dispel such unfounded rumor 
as retirement is only on the basis of voluntary based on the senior officer's discretion. At this point, no retirement has been authorized by the military headquarters. However, a memo signed and seen by the memo signed by the military seen by prime times indicates that the total number of 29 military generals have been approved forcefully on terminal leave paving way for the eventual retirement the retirement come less than two weeks after the appointment of Yahaya. according to the memo 29 generals from regular course 36 and 35 have been approved to proceed on the terminal leave their names are there so the indication is that they looked at these people that they are very they are very vast in the army they know what they are doing these are people who could potentially plan a coup and succeed you know these are generals that buhari himself was a general before he retired but these are people that call the shots they can control the army so what have they done a clever move straight away they've you know they've taken a junior person who they've made to you know go ahead to say you know what this is what you must do if you want this position this is how you must act do you agree and remember that if they've called you for such a meeting and you disagree you will not live to tell the story you know there's a lot of deceit that go on in nigeria oh yes there's a lot of um there is a lot of hidden shady things it's not all, all you see is not all there is oh, oh yes there is a lot go, much more going on behind the scene so like we heard allegedly he was invited into a meeting and you know these discussions went on as soon as they've uh, they've paved the way they've removed the former one who was spoken and uncovering dust you know with regards to over a billion release for arms that we are never bought so the former chief of army staff who is now uh who is now an ambassador you know and the rest according to the inf alleged information came together to say this guy must go he's raising more dust remember how much this thing was you know spreading and the guy was insisting he wants to see the procurement what company were this um were this uh, arms procured from who ordered it when was it delivered who received the delivery where was it stored so such questions will begin to really rattle and unravel a lot of things. And they say, you know what, the guy must go. So after taking him out, they discuss with this junior person, bring him up the ladder, and it is compulsory in the army. When your junior gets ahead of you, you leave. 29 have to go now. What do you think is happening in Nigeria? Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.